Now, if I remember correctly, this fluorite came out in uh, early 2000 from the Rongo Mountain, Namibia. Um, there is crystallization to it, but there's a lot of fracturing because what happens with this particular material is there are tiny, um, well, shall we say a, a barrel, but it's not aquamarine, and I wouldn't say it's gosh, not. there's a bit of color to it, so I'm going to go with barrel crystals sitting in between. So as you break open this uh, fluorite, you'll you'll find tiny uh, barrel crystals tap trapped in between which uh, so there's recrystallization and interesting crystallization happening all over now that would be a crystalline face unfractured uh, made up of tiny tiny fluoride crystals how would we display this guy well i i quite like if we get the angles right on this side now have a look at that intense dark dark uh, blue it's actually not purple it's blue that was one of the interesting things about this particular uh, uh, find was the the dark intense blue and of course if you have lighting going through it uh, it's a, a good light from behind but there's definitely a crystal form even though this is a fracture zone but there is almost a, a, a crystal form jutting up like that and this is all from the Erongo mountain in Namibia. I suspect uh, early 2000 this came out. Of course the, the color is, is the thing over here, the dark, dark, intense blue, which is unusual. Uh, for Namibian uh, fluorites, we, we, we're more used to the purple, whereas this is dark, dark blue.